An update tonight that many of you have been asking for. It's been nearly 10 months since my friend and co-anchor Mike Jackson's life changed. In an unexpected and devastating way, he had a massive stroke, and he is in the fight of his life. But one of the things he misses most is fighting for you. When I go out in public, you know, people speak to me all the time. They wish me well, and that makes me feel good. He is a people person, and as he fights to relearn things as basic as how to walk, Mike is also learning new ways to connect with people. Has it made you more self-reflective? Yes, and I, you know, I, I, I have more empathy towards people who suddenly lose the use of a limb or someone who loses their memory or something else. Mike's always seemed to know how to help those who are in trouble. The Alvarez's say they were not getting very far with the company. It's what made him a popular anchor and an award-winning consumer reporter. Well, I'm sitting in a wheelchair right now, and there was a gentleman in Coshocton who had a wheelchair, a motorized wheelchair, and it didn't fit him. It didn't fit his needs physically or being able to maneuver around their house. Remember this story? A man's malfunctioning wheelchair damaged his wife's oven door. They called Jackson. A company, not only did they were able to move the wheelchair, but when we talked about the range, the company saw their name on TV and thought we can do something about that, and they replaced that. He loves the stories that change lives and neighborhoods. It was overrun with rodents and all kinds of crazy activities. Neighbors called Jackson. It takes a lot to get a house torn down in Columbus. It took us one year, and we finally got that house knocked down. And they were so thankful and appreciative. The man who worked a year to get a house torn down has spent nearly a year building his body back up. And throughout these difficult months, he's been hearing from many of you, people he helped, people who feel connected to a man called Jackson. And when I was in the hospital, I had, I had you could deliver a bunch of cards, and I was looking at them. I told the nurse, I go, isn't this amazing? I don't even know these people. And they continue to send me cards. She goes, Mike, you got to realize these people are inviting you into their homes a couple times a day. They feel like they know you. Coming up tonight at 11, much more on Mike's fight to recover. And don't forget, you can leave him a message or drop a card, and you can get info on that at NBC4i.com. And tomorrow is World Stroke Awareness Day. So this happens to fall at an appropriate time because, as we have learned yeah. from both Mike and Jared Smalley, who suffered a different kind of stroke, this is a real problem for a growing number of Americans. Yeah, that's scary. I mean, it's amazing to watch this. And you think about, I always think about Mike as this big, strong guy. And to see him having to go back through at this whole process of relearning, it, yeah. it's, it's, it's jarring, you know, to see that. But when you go there and see him, I think the funny thing is, as he mentions, you know, it's seeing all these people sending him cards. He doesn't go like two minutes without somebody coming in there and talking to him <laughs> yeah. about something. I mean, everyone wants yeah. to talk to Mike Jackson still. Yeah, yeah. And he is, he is fighting, and we would love nothing more than to see him be successful in that fight because he's, he's come a long way. Yeah, and, I, and I'm, I don't just say this, but I mean, we really, all of us just truly miss him. I, I don't know how many times I would, Crystal's like, why'd you come home at one in the morning? I'm like, me and Jackson were talking in the back for an <laughs> hour after work. She's like, you yeah. guys were together all day, but I'm like, well, we had more stuff to talk about. Yeah. So yeah. I, I hope to have him back here.